Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I am a credit expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. Today's question is this, who can legally look at my credit reports? Excellent question. There's a lot of incorrect information floating around out there on the internet regarding who has the ability to look at the information on your credit reports, which is going to include your credit scores. Um, there is a federal statute referred to as the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or the FCRA, and the FCRA contains language um, that essentially lays out the conditions under which the credit reporting agencies can compile and deliver your credit report to a third party. And those conditions are called permissible purpose. And there are several permissible purposes. Most of them have to do with legitimate business purposes um, when you, the consumer, actually give permission to someone else to pull a credit report. So I'll give you a few really good examples. Employment. If you sign a uh, overt permission document giving your either current employer or prospective employer permission to pull your credit reports, then you have just given them permissible purpose and then they can pull them from the credit bureaus without any problem. Um, additionally, if you want to go apply for any form of credit, whether that's a credit card, auto loan, mortgage, or changes to your current accounts, in other words, if you want to ask your credit card issuer for a credit line increase or a lower interest rate, you're essentially in every single one of those scenarios asking for some benefit from a creditor, which gives them permissible purpose to pull your credit reports. Some of the lesser known permissible purposes, but still are completely legal, um, when you ask for your own credit report, so that's referred to as a consumer disclosure, the credit reporting agencies, when you give them permission, can actually release your credit report to you, which I wish more people would do. Not enough people do that on an annual basis, even though it's free. Um, Collection agencies. Collection agencies have permissible purpose to access your credit reports, actually for two reasons. First off, to skip trace, meaning that they're trying to find you and they're trying to get an updated address on you. Um, and then second, to determine your ability to pay, meaning are you a consumer who has the capacity to make a payment on a collection or are you someone who is just so tapped out that you just simply don't have any extra money or any extra credit limits on credit cards for which to pay um, collection accounts. Um, another one that most people either don't know about or certainly don't appreciate um, is insurance underwriting. So if you go to apply for, for example, homeowner's insurance, renter's insurance, auto insurance, the insurance provider has permissible purpose to access your credit reports as part of their underwriting process, which means that if you've got solid credit, it's possible that you're going to get a better premium than if you have poor credit. And you're not guaranteed insurance, and so there are some scenarios where an insurance company can actually deny coverage because your credit is so bad. And essentially what they're looking for there are conflicts of interest. So if you have credit that's very, very poor and you're in a pinch for money, you're more likely to file claims than if you had very, very good credit and really had no money issues. Another one that most folks don't know about, utility providers. So your power, your natural gas, your oil. Um, those companies, while they have to give you service, can charge you a deposit for the service. And so they have permissible purpose to pull your credit reports and they use what's referred to as a utility credit score to predict whether or not you're gonna pay your utilities back on time. And they will use that information to determine whether or not they're going to assess you a deposit before actually turning on your service. Um, another one, there are some scenarios where states will require a driver's license, a, a, excuse me, a credit report before licensing. And this is not a driver's license. This is licensing you to be, for example, a mortgage broker. Um, so some sort of professional license rather than a, a driver's license. It's not across the board, it's not uniform, but in many states, certainly that is a permissible purpose. And then finally, court order. If you're in the process of suing a bank or a credit reporting agency or a collection agency and um, as part of the discovery process, uh, the plaintiff or the defendants want to see copies of credit reports to assist in their lawsuit uh, efforts, then a court can order the credit reporting agencies to release the credit reports. But the two primary permissible purposes, the ones that get leveraged the most, are going to be consumers asking for copies of their own credit reports or scores or B, someone actually out there applying for some sort of credit benefit, thus giving a creditor um, permissible purpose to access the credit reports. If you have any other questions pertaining to credit or financial topics, then please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comments section below. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day.